Time to keep moving. Not ready to leave. Place is too nice. I know. We have made it to the Ibis Styles Hotel here in Aonang. It was a bit of a morning of transportation. So how was the bus ride? Liam was stuck in the back. <laughs> stuck in a corner against the sun with three people next to me, so it's interesting. <laughs> we have checked into our room. We got little baby Liam on the top bunk. Liam? Hey, Liam. They knew Liam's preference, so they got him a little bear. <laughs> That's for you? No, it's awesome. We are hooked up with their family suite, so we're a little family tonight. We are. Yeah. Look at that backdrop. Insane. First things first, we're doing a laundry run. 35 baht. We are now ready to go explore. So right here is proof that you do not need to go to Rayleigh to get the beautiful beach. Ao Nang has it all right here. It's so stunning. You're like at the foot of a hill. Let me show you. Check that out. You wouldn't think it was real. If you're budget conscious, it makes sense to stay in Ao Nang, do a day trip into Rayleigh, and you know, stay here because it is much cheaper. Rayleigh is actually very expensive because it's such a small piece of land. Like the most basic accommodations you'll find in Rayleigh will fetch about 1200 baht, which is roughly 40 US dollars. So, like I said, by Thai standards, it's quite expensive. Okay, so I'm gonna butcher this, but we've just arrived at Nofaratara Beach. Actually, I might have nailed it, to be honest. Uh, we are like about 10 minutes outside of Aonang now. Uh, we left the main beach, just followed the road, we're getting lost here on another beautiful beach. Like, the entire crabby shoreline is filled with these incredible little mountains that look like they were plopped down from above. The way they just jut out of the water is pretty remarkable. So we're crossing over to go explore on this side. The water is so hot. It's like warmer than a bathtub. There's a big pack of dogs there. Like normally I'm not worried about dogs in Southeast Asia, but I've also never seen about eight or nine of them together. And dogs can get aggressive when they're together. I have never seen anything like this before. It's just like Dog Island. Hey guys. Oh my gosh. It's the flocking of the dogs. They're heading east for the winter. Godspeed, my friends. I hereby decree this as Canine Island. And this is their fearless leader, Todd. Hello, Todd. <laughs> All right. We've met a buddy from Toronto. <laughs> so he's actually here right now because of the videos, which is insane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You inspired me, brother, so. I appreciate are. that. And where are you going to next? Khao Sok. I heard it's really beautiful. Oh my gosh. Yes, yes, it is yes. the best thing you've ever done. <laughs> you just came Literally, from it's yeah, it was the amazing. best. Hey man, I appreciate meeting you. Here. Ready? Let's go. Good morning from the Ibis Styles Hotel. We have just left our room and we're off on a really, really awesome day trip. Today is gonna be a packed day, we've got a lot. We're going right now to Rayleigh. It's not an island, but you have to take a boat to get there. It's part of the mainland, but it's so sectioned off by massive mountains that you only have water access to get there. So tickets are 100 baht each way. We are getting all geared up. I feel like a professional rock climber. Looking I got my good. shoes, I got this, and I'm scared. Oh, is that one of those little dust things? Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Like, like how steep is this? I've rock, rock climbed climbing. indoors, and like even rock climbing indoors you, kind of scares me. I'm nervous. <laughs> and this whole day, like we're going on another trip after this, a seven island tour, and everything today has been set up by everydaycrabby.com. They actually reached out and set up this activity list for us, so we're really excited to share with you guys some of the best things you can do in the Rayleigh Krabby area. Climbers unite. You ready? Woo! Let's go climb some steep cliffs. <laughs> that high five though. We have met the wall. This is what we're climbing today. You ready? Professional rock climber, let's go. You're tying your own belt too. You got this. <laughs> So 
Liam is currently on his way up to the top. He's just gonna touch that top carabiner right up there. Almost there, Liam. You're tired? Yeah. Good job, Liam. You made it. Mom didn't raise no quitters. Yes, Ooh. way to go. Oh, nicely crap. done. Look at that. How do you feel? <laughs> Feels great, but yeah. moist and sweaty. Like yeah. Usual. Oh, it's going really Make well. Make sure we're good. What? Make sure it's strapped in. <laughs> okay. That was epic. Like, so, so much fun. The adrenaline of getting yourself up there. It's always a little scary at first because you have to like trust the belay system. But once you're up, you can see the world. What's that quote? Like, Jack, show me the... Show me Leo DiCaprio. Anyways, there's a big time Rasta feel to this island. Everything's reggae bars and uh, you've got the Jamaican flags hanging. Basically, Bob Marley's bar right here. If I could summarize Rayleigh in one word, it's laid back. Like, oh, okay, laid back is like two words. There's not really nightlife here. There's a few casual bars that will stay open past 10, uh, but everything wraps up pretty quick. But it definitely a really nice couple's place to relax. Just enjoy the most incredible nature here. So we've just arrived at the East Pier. We left the West Beach, came to the East Beach, and now we're getting onto a boat to do a seven island tour. It's like a bouncy castle. Boingy, boingy. Who's having fun? Woo. Oh, <laughs> this crew's having fun. Laura, I came up with a new nickname for this boat. What? Chaos Cruise Lines. <laughs> Nobody knows what's going on. Somebody say party. <laughs> <laughs> We've just been dropped off at Pota Island and uh, it's beautiful. It's just a nice little white sand beach in the middle of nowhere surrounded by incredible mountains. But arguably the most incredible of all the mountains surrounding here is right in front of me. Let me show you this thing. Listen, seeing that right there is Chicken Island, and if you can't figure it out, I'm not honestly your lost cause. So this right here is my favorite time of the day, just like 20 minutes before sunset. It's like a beautiful light color to the sky. You got that nice gradient going from like the purple to the orange and there's just the nicest breeze coming off the ocean right now. And if you can see, we're probably in like one of the world's most beautiful places right now. So this is the perfect end to our incredible day. Incredible two days starting in Ao Nang, finishing here in Rayleigh. I love this place. I highly recommend you check it out. You can see that we got a nice red sun over there and what's soon to be some pink cotton candy clouds over there. Oh my gosh, I want to be flying the drone right now. We just got off the boat and totally unexpected. They have a massive buffet going on. They have like chicken skewers, they have massaman curry. It's actually so good, but you don't normally get like good food when you go on these kind of things and they include meals. So I'm impressed with the meal. 
Uh, but again, my conclusion on this is I prefer going around on a long tail boat rather than being put in this massive boat where we were shuffled back and forth between boats constantly. I found that part a bit annoying, but of course the locations were beautiful. And if you're with a family, maybe this makes more sense. Really, really incredible day here in Rayleigh. And uh, now we need to take another boat to get back to Ao Nang. But that's only like 15 minutes away, so we should head out. So right now we're under this incredible clay, clave. It's a cave. It's like a clay cave, it's a clave. Where are we going right now? Or trying to? We are trying to go to Ao Nang and we basically um, had to leave the boat tour one stop early because they're actually going to one more stop and then back to the pier and we need our laundry really bad. Which so closes at eight, so we just hope we can get back. a boat back, otherwise yeah. we're, we're trapped. Our attempt to save time definitely backfired. We pretty much spent just as much time trying to get back, walking across Rayleigh, trying to find a boat driver and now we have to hire a private boat to get it back to Ao Nang. So it's only 600 baht, you live and you learn, and now we got a private boat driver, so that's pretty dope. Planes, trains, and automobiles. It is so good to be back, so good to be cleaned. That was a bit of a trek to get home, I'm not gonna lie. We are back at our beautiful fantasy family suite, and I really wanna thank the people who make this possible, like the Abyss Styles Hotel here in Ao Nang, like Everyday Krabby, the people who are setting up activities, allowing us to cut costs by staying in hotels, like this channel would not be operable without you, so thank you so much for showing us the most incredible stay here in Rayleigh and Ao Nang. And uh, that's me, I'm signing off. Gonna see you guys tomorrow, and uh, you know how it is, it's always gonna be LIT. So until then guys, let's get lost again tomorrow.